illegal tender. You better have a good reason for dragging us over here, Teach. There's kickball going on and my foot's getting itchy. Trust me, Vince. I have a good reason. Look at what I found. Whoa, pretty. A high note and envelope ornamentation. Now can we play? I didn't call you over here to look at the envelope. Good thing. It's what's inside the envelope. Don't tell me we all forgot your birthday. Please don't tell me that. Relax, Gus, and just be home. Warp and Wobula. That's an ever-loving C note. It looks more like a $100 bill to me, Spinelli. Same diff, Mikey. But split it six ways, and we're rich, I tell you, rich. Oh, my God. What are we going to do with all those spackaroonies? Well, Gretch, I've got a couple of ideas. I'm going to use the money to buy a skyscraper or a rocket. Here's the tender part. Either way, I'm doing my shopping in a jetpack. Kid stuff. I'm using my share to start the world's coolest sport. It'll be a combination of pro wrestling and bowling I call strikeout. Of course. I'll referee things for my jetpack. Interesting notion, Spinelli, but I plan to use my unexpected windfall to help others. By researching and curing all disease. Yes, it worked! You're a winner! Yes, yes, you did it! I'm not cured! Thank you! Of course, I'll use a jetpack to survey the beautiful world I've saved. That sounds wonderful, Gretchen, but there's only one way I would spend this fortuitous fortune. I'll pay off my tab at Kelso's, and then I'll give Mr. Kelso a ride on my jetpack. Now, time you paid up, Mikey. Well, I'm a rich kid who likes the sea. I'm gonna get myself the most beautiful yacht I can find and sell it all over the world. And I'll never have to dock it or nothing, because I'll just fly to it on my JP. Classy, Vince. Very classy. I will build a better jetpack. I'll even test pilot it myself. I'll just buy mom stickers. Oh, the many ways we'll find to spend this money. How lucky we are that somebody lost it. Hey, wait a sec. Mikey's right. Somebody lost and it. And we found it. Yep, and now we have to return. What? Say who? I want my yacht. Look, guys, we all want stuff. But something I never want is to feel bad if I can help it. And if I kept someone else's money, eventually I'd feel rotten. And so would you guys. Oh, oh, yes. 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 <sighs> TJ's right. It's not ours to spend, even for world health. Goodbye, bowling ring. Come on, then. Let's ask around and find out who lost this. But don't ask directly, because some kids would do anything for a C-note. I know. I'm one of them. How deliciously moist. Hello, diggers. Have you by any chance lost a fortune lately? I shall take that as a no. So I imagine with gravity working against you, it must be difficult to keep objects in your pockets. Like money, for instance. Clever. To lose a C-note. To lose a C-note. To lose a C-note. None of the kids I talked to lost it. I bet if any kid lost that much money, he'd be bawling his eyes out now. Heck, I'll probably do it when we give it back. Oh, woe is me. What misfortune has befallen you, Randall? I've lost my parents' money. They gave me a $100 bill to take to the bank after school, and I've lost it. Oh, woe is me. Woe is me. You're not timorous, Randall. I think TJ found your money. No. Could this be true? Yeah, I found it. And if I knew it was yours, I would have returned it right away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just give me... Wait a second, Sappy. If your C-note is really in this envelope, maybe you can tell us all whose picture's on it. <laughs> um, uh, Senor Fusion? No, silly. It's jolly old Ben Franklin. Didn't you even look at your parents' C-note? Mike, it's not his money. Oh, I see. I'm very disappointed in you, Randall. Now get lost, monkey! Oh, well, can't blame a kid for trying. I hate to say this, but it's time to start asking the grown-ups. Now, where to start? Why not at the top? Of course! Principal Prickly! He must be loaded! I bet he makes hundreds of dollars a year! Wait, guys, I better ask him myself. The two of us have an understanding. Hiya, Principal Prickly. Oh, it's you. Well, what are you in for this time? It's not like that, sir. I was just wondering, what would you do if you lost a hundred dollars? Fire my broker. Now, if that's all you needed to know, would it be asking too much for you to leave here and let me get back to work? Usually, but right now, I can't dally. I'm working on a good deed. Try to leave the building standing. I always do, sir. 61, 62, 63. Pardon us, Miss Finster, but did you by any chance lose a one hundred dollar bill? Let me see. Whoa! Look at all that! Nope, all there. Are you sure it's safe to keep all that money in your purse? Why, yes I am, Gus. Yes I am. TJ and his friends are trying to give back money? But that's absolutely un-American! I know, but those kids are...
are just mixed up enough to do it. This cannot, like, stand. Come on, girls. TJ, we need to talk. Join us in our clubhouse. I'm sort of busy right now, ladies. We've just refreshed our candy spa. I guess I got a minute. Well, thank you, ladies. This is mighty nice of you. TJ, we know about the money. What money? Like the hundred dollar bill. Oh, that money. It's quite a fortune, but, you know, it's not mine, so I gotta return it. Haven't you heard of finders keepers? It's like the law. Yes, TJ, you're a man of means now, and you, like, owe it to your class to keep the money. Class, huh? TJ Detweiler, welcome to the good life. Ever see one of these, TJ? The 40 million bar. Nobody I know eats those. They're twice as expensive as the other candy bars. Well, from now on, this is the only candy bar for you. Mmm. That was, like, easy. Okay, TJ, now that you're one of us, let's... One of you. Yeah, now that you're one of us, I thought you might, like, want to share a giggle over those less fortunate. One of you. Like those kids you used to hang out with. <laughs> one of you! I'll never be one of you. And another thing, you pay too much for that candy bar. I'm getting out of here. And as I play and breathe, I'm returning that C-note. New vows. Where were you, Deej? Somewhere I'll never go again. The girls' room? Worse, Mikey. Way worse. Now, what do we know? It should be reasonably concluded that no one at 3rd Street lost the money. Looks like we're keeping it! Nope. After school, we'll check the local bulletin boards and circulars. Someone's lost a fortune, and they've got to be looking for it. There's Bub Kiss on the bulletin board. Not in the newsletter. A great big goose egg in the Grant Street Gazette. I'm not getting any answers here. Maybe you're not asking the right questions. What you talking about, Gretch? Maybe instead of asking who's looking for the money, we should be asking who in town is rich enough to lose a vast sum of money and not be looking for it. I can't think of anybody that rich. Read all about it. He's T third to fit. Of course. He's the richest Mamsie Scramsy in town. Gee, if you ask me, this place is creepy. Gus has a point. I say we keep the hundred. I mean, if it is the thirds, he won't miss it. He must have dozens and dozens of hundreds. Heck, I bet he even flosses with them. Look, I'm going in there. If this C-note belongs to the third, he's getting it back. It's the right thing to do. Yes? Oh! Um, howdy. Howdy. Uh, I'd like to see Mr. Fifth, please. I believe you mean Mr. Third. Right, right, Mr. Third. I think I have something that belongs to him. Follow me. Okay, he's doomed. What makes you say that? Come on, Gus. Big mansion, scary butler guy. Do the math. He's probably already fallen through a trap door. Yeah, and gotten strapped into some kind of laboratory bed. And he's even now being forced to respond candidly to a battery of deeply personal questions. I'd make three points about what's going on. One, TJ has just entered a mansion. Frightening stuff traditionally happens in castles. Two, the street isn't zoned for human experimentation. And three, TJ has no deeply personal issues to be asked about. I think we can safely assume TJ is receiving praise and thanks from our school's greatest benefactor. Or, you know, Gretchen could be right. Presenting Master... Uh, T.J. Detweiler, the, um, only. You have something for me? I think so, your sirship. Ah, yes, I was hoping this would turn up. You can go now. There, you see, he's fine. So, what happened? Was it his? Yep. So where's the reward? Didn't get one. He hardly said a word. You're kidding. He didn't even say thanks, kid. Nope. See? What'd I tell ya? We never should have given the C back to three. No, Spinelli. We did the right thing. And that'll last a whole lot longer than any thanks kid ever could. Yeah, all right. 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 For such a ritzy neighborhood, they sure have a noise problem. Greetings, youngsters. Thaddeus T. Third the Fifth. The same. You. Me, sir? You are a very special young man. You bet he is. He's not even mad about you not saying thanks. Thanks wouldn't have been enough. Boys and girls, I leave envelopes like the one you found all over town. But you, you kids were the first to try to return it. And of course, behavior such as yours should be recognized and rewarded. So I'm taking all of you and your families for a weekend of fun at Sasparilla Springs Action Park and Roller Disco, which I own. Yeah, yeah. 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 But before we finalize the arrangements, who wants a ride on my jetpack? Oh, 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 oh,